Travellers in Europe are paying ever more for a plane ticket and yet have less chance of actually making it to their destination. From London to Amsterdam to Berlin, chaotic scenes are playing out at airports as the fine-tuned interplay between check-in desks, security personnel and baggage handlers unravels. Ticket pricing and cancellation data show Europe is where the turmoil has converged to inflict maximum pain on consumers. This is, of course, I think you've heard it by now, really bad news. This is primarily really bad news for our passengers. We are really devastated. This was supposed to be the summer that everybody was looking forward to travel again. This is really bad news. Europe had more than double the cancellations of U.S. carriers between April and June. Axed flights in June, the start of Europe's peak summer season, totaled 7,870 for departures from Germany, the U.K., France, Italy and Spain, almost triple the number in the same period in 2019. The breakdown highlights how a faster-than-expected recovery in air travel has clashed with a massive staffing shortage after deep cuts during the pandemic. Instead of a roaring comeback, the global aviation industry is stumbling, unable to rapidly fire up operations again from the worst travel slump on record and making what in the past might have been a routine trip more of an odyssey. The malaise is being exacerbated by strikes across the continent as rampant inflation leads to higher pay demands. Recent weeks have been dominated by images of lines of people snaking outside terminal buildings at airports across Europe. We have had the worst pandemic of our lifetime, hopefully. We've received lots of taxpayers' money, and I really find it shameful that this is the way the pilots choose to repay the generosity and the patience that all of the countries have had over the last few years with the company.